Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for you.com. I am Jasur Hanif. Today the topic of our discussion is the difference between osmosis and diffusion in detail. Let's start with the definition. Osmosis can be defined as the movement of water molecules from the region of low concentration to the region of high concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Let's take a natural example to understand the concept. Plants take up water through roots by osmosis. So these are the soil particles and this is a root cell. Plants absorb water through root hairs. The concentration of soil solution is low compared to the concentration of the root cell sap. Roots are having a large vacuole and that vacuole is filled with mineral ions and many other substances that makes highly concentrated compared to the outside soil solution. Then we can define osmosis using this example. It is a movement of water from the region of low concentration that is from soil solution to the region of high concentration that is inside of the cell through a semi-permeable membrane. Here the semi-permeable membrane is a plasma membrane. So it's a passive process. So let's take one more example to fix the concept. So this suppose this is solution A which is having low sugar concentration and this is solution B with high sugar concentration and that is separated by a semi-permeable membrane. As we have discussed osmosis is a movement of water molecules from the region of low concentration to the region of high concentration through the semi-permeable membrane. In terms of water potential, it is a movement of solvent or water molecules from the region of high water potential to the region of low water potential through a semi-permeable membrane. Water potential simply means the amount of free water. Water potential is maximum in, p in the case of pure water. So whenever there is addition of solute, water potential decreases. That is why the definition in terms of water potential is the movement of water molecules or solvent, solvent molecules from the region of high water potential to the region of low water potential through a semi-permeable membrane. Now moving into diffusion. Diffusion is simply the movement of substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Examples include fragrance of flower, then fragrance of perfume, ink drop in water that will be uniformly distributed after some time. All these processes are examples of diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Difference number two regarding the medium. In the case of osmosis, osmosis operates only in a liquid medium. It is a movement of solvent or water molecules from the region of low concentration to the region of high concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Whereas in the case of diffusion, diffusion can occur in any types of substances. It is applicable to all types of substances. It can occur in solid, liquid or gas. It is very rapid in the case of gas, less rapid in the case of liquid and very slow in the case of solid as the atoms are closely packed in solid compared to liquid and gas. Difference number three, it is regarding the requirements. In the case of osmosis, in order to happen, there should be a semi-permeable membrane. In the case of biological system, it is a plasma membrane. After osmosis, the concentration of the solvent or water does not become equal on both sides. Whereas in the case of diffusion, it does not require a semi-permeable membrane. After diffusion, the diffusing substance will be uniformly distributed like this. Before diffusion, after diffusion, it will be uniformly distributed. Just think of an ink drop in a solution. It will be uniformly distributed after some time. Difference number four, regarding the cause of movement. In the case of osmosis, it is affected by the concentration gradient. Lower the solute concentration, 
faster the osmosis will be or higher the water potential higher the amount of free water faster will be the rate of osmosis in the case of diffusion it is purely dependent upon the free energy of the diffusing substance in the case of gas it will be very rapid in the case of liquid it will be comparatively slow whereas in the case of solid it will be very slow it is all about the free energy of diffusing substance and difference number five the final difference it is the role of hydrostatic pressure once water enters into the cell by osmosis the vacuole swells up and the cell becomes turgid then there will be a pressure that opposes osmosis which is called as the turgid pressure turgid pressure prevents the breakage of cell and it prevents further injury of water by osmosis osmosis is opposed by turgid pressure or hydrostatic pressure of the system whereas in the case of diffusion turgid pressure or hydrostatic pressure doesn't have a role these are the major differences between osmosis and diffusion send your suggestions and comments thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforay.com